Hello and welcome to the research database video. In this video we're going to take a look at how Papyrus Author handles your research. Now whether you're a fiction or non-fiction writer I think we can all agree that research is a vital element of any book. Papyrus Author handles your research in a very efficient way and it integrates it fully into your project be it as a global resource which means a research element for your entire book, or even by chapter and scene. So if you're researching on the internet, Papyrus enables you to integrate that research using plugins. So whether you're using Firefox or Chrome, with one click of that plugin, the research integrates straight into your project. So let's take a look. Okay, so here we've got a project with absolutely nothing in it other than blank chapters. So the first thing I always do when I'm setting up my project is make sure that the um, data, uh, the research database is set up to store all my research. So the first step I take is to install the plugins that work within either Firefox or um, Chrome. So to do that, you would go to Options, Preferences, and from within Preferences, you're looking for Research. Then pick the plugin that you want. I use Chrome, so I'm just going to click Add Chrome Plugin. So straight away, it opens your browser, and you just go Add to Chrome or Firefox if you're using Firefox, and it'll add in the plugin, okay? So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to quickly switch to dual monitor because it's going to be easier to see what's going on. So at the moment, there's still no actual research database attached to this project. So if, to turn that on, you could either do it from this icon and you could go uh, create research database. You could do it from documents, again, create research database. Since I made the uh, original video, uh, Papyrus Author has had an update and it centralized all the essential tools for authors to the one menu called Author. So if you wish to access or activate your research database, you can also do it from this menu as well. Okay, if once your uh, database is activated, you can also reach it from here. You can also access all of these things listed from this menu. So everything's centralized into the one easy to find place. Or you could simply do it by dragging text or an image off a web page and into your document. So for instance, if I select this text and I drag it in, it will ask me to add to research source info. I go, yep. And it's created the research database, which it comes up as a global source. To confirm that, if I click this icon again, it takes me straight to the database and the entry just created by that uh, drag and drop from the internet, which is this text. You can also do that with images. So if I drag this image, I can drop it into my document and it creates a, it deposits the photo into your research database. So it's a permanent link to your research database. Now this is all great if you're copying snippets of text or um, images, but if you want to save an entire web page, then that's when the um, plugin comes in useful. So if I click the plugin, it'll ask me where I want to deposit the research. In chapter and scene, because I've got chapter one highlighted, if I select that, it will drop it into chapter one. If I select chapter two, it would deposit in chapter two. If I click it again and go global sources, it will drop it into global sources. Now, global sources is obviously more research for your entire book. Whereas if you deposit in chapter and scene, it's more specific to those points. If it also then, if I click through, it also brings up the research tabs um, in your info columns. And if you go to this button and click it 
and go open in database or open source in web browser well if I click open source in web browser it will open that page that you located your resources from okay okay so that was the research database video as with everything Papyrus Author does it handles your research in a very efficient and easy manner and by integrating it into your project all your research stays close at hand so until next time catch you later